My name is Jos Jorre. I'm CEO of Memetis, the organ on a chip company. We're based in Leiden, the Netherlands, in Washington, USA, as well as in Tokyo. We develop what we think are the most easy to use organ on a chip devices in the world without actually having to compromise on the complexity of biology that goes into them. Our core product is called the Organoplate. The Organoplate is an organ on a chip device on the format of a 384 well plate. So it contains 40 to 96 individually addressable organ chips and you can culture 40 to 96 tissue cultures in there. We can add different types of cells next to each other in adjacent co-cultures. We can add in tubules that are perfused and set up quite biologically complex models in this way. We also put in tumor tissue in combination with, for example, blood vessels or immune cells and look at quite high level biologically relevant models of tumors, allowing researchers to model the microenvironment of the tumor, to look at the growth rate of a tumor and learn about biology and learn about the effects of compounds on tumor biology. So whatever we culture in terms of tissues in the lab, it lacks vasculature, which is crucially important in our tissues. Every 10 cell diameters of every cell, there's a blood vessel in my body. Yet, whatever we culture in the lab, it's not there. The only way to do it is in a mouse. So that's PDX. You put a tumor in a mouse and let it be vascularized. But it's mouse blood vessels, it's mouse cells that go in there, and it takes a lot of time, six months, nine months. That's why I'm so excited to actually present the organoplate graft, which is the first device ever that allows you to vascularize human tissues in the lab with human blood vessels, perfuse it and maintain it for weeks or months if you like. First, it's human blood vessels that we can put in there, we can fully control the microenvironment, it's much faster than in a mouse and it's way cheaper. So scientists are getting more and more convinced of doing 3D cell culture whether it's with organoids, spheroids, or tissue explants. The only thing there is it's lacking vasculature. So now we can add vasculature to both organoids, as well as spheroids, as well as explants, in vitro, in the lab, quickly, easily, and quite cost-effectively. Now with these experiments, you can actually look at the interaction between vasculature and the tissue itself. The vasculature is an important factor of the tissue. So by adding it, you can create a better microenvironment for developing tissues. It also allows us to deliver drugs into the tissue, just the way the drugs are delivered into our own tissues, through the blood vessels, through the vasculature. That's important because especially bigger tissues, the penetration of drugs can be a problem. And finally, by growing bigger tissues in vitro, usually you get cell death in the center because the nutrients and oxygen are just not you're going well enough into the tissue. And now with the vasculature, that's actually growing into the tissue that allows us to grow them just a bit bigger and keep them fully alive. Well, the most exciting outlook for this product in the future is to use it for personalized therapy selection. Just think about it. When a tumor is removed from a patient, you seed it in a hundredfold or a thousandfold, let it be vascularized in vitro in the organoplate graft, and then apply the drugs that you would give to the patient later in the lab, look at their effects on the patient's tumor cells before you actually administer a therapy to the patient. That's to me an enticing outlook into the future and I would love to see that product out there.